Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Today I have a really big tip for you, one that is catching fish all over the place, but it is being kept on the down low. This is something that a lot of guys are doing uh, at the professional level, a lot of the top local guys are doing, but I can assure you it's not being spread around all that easily. Uh, it's being kept pretty quiet for the most part because it's working that well. It's a technique that will catch really big fish and catch fish during times when other baits are struggling. So that's what I want to share with you today. Before I get into this quick tip though, I do want to remind you that if you're looking for some additional information from me, check out my lake breakdowns that I'm doing with fishthemoment.com. I provide 40 waypoints on lakes that you can request uh, or lakes that I've already done that you can go up and purchase right off the website. It's a really good way to help you break down your local lakes. If you're looking for a little bit of help, it's basically like hiring a guide for the day, only a lot cheaper than that. So check that out. Also guys, if you're looking to support the channel, please use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link that I provide in the description of each of my videos. It's a great way to show your support for the channel. And guys, today's tip is a big one. So I want to give you a little background on this. You know, it wasn't until about a year or so ago when uh, it kind of came out that guys were using a full stick worm, whether it was a Cinco or a Berkeley General on the back of a jig or a punch rig. Uh, and they were doing this down in Florida. They were flipping reeds, flipping hay grass. It was a really good way to mimic bluegill and guys are catching really big fish down down in the florida area all summer long doing this a lot of people when they saw that originally were like you know that just looks funny guys aren't really doing that but honestly guys people are winning tournaments down in florida flipping a jig or flipping a skirted punch rig uh with a cinco on the back of it it's making a, a pretty big splash and it hasn't been until like the last year where that kind of came out but here's something guys that a lot of people are not doing you should be trying to fish your micro jigs with a little TRD finesse, uh, finesse TRD on the back, you know, a little just a Ned rig. This is a super good technique for catching fish that are either heavily pressured or catching fish that are just in a lethargic mood, whether it's because a cold front came in or it's just not a feeding period. But this rig right here, whether you're throwing a little casting jig, which is what this is, this is a Kitech casting jig, or a little round ball finesse jig, like this Luke Clausen uh, Dirty Jigs, Luke Clausen finesse jig, or the micro uh, football jigs. You know, Kitech also makes a really good micro football jig. You, you put on the back of it a little finesse TRD, and you've got a very compact little bait that does a very good job at mimicking bluegill, mimicking gobies and crayfish and i don't really know why it hasn't it's taken this long to catch on but it's a bait that has been winning a lot of tournaments and catching a lot of really big fish up here in the north country uh, it's been catching a lot of good fish over on the saint lawrence river on the great lakes as well as down in the ozark region as well guys are keeping this on the down low there's really no reason not to uh, share it with you because it is such a good bait you know, I was just down on Table Rock. I was catching some fish flipping docks with this. Uh, one thing I want to point out is I really do like to use the Finesse TRD for this presentation because in this case, this guy floats. So when you put the jig out there, you know, it's going to help hold the bait up in the upright position, which does a good job at mimicking a, a crayfish that's up in a fighting position. But at the same time, it allows the fish to be able to come in and grab that bait you still almost get your, your uh, turd type presentation where it's just sitting upright and then you got your skirt material that's flowing around. This has been one of my go-to colors right here. This is, uh, it's a PB and J colored uh, finesse TRD. And then I've just matched that up here with a brown and purple Kitech jig. I also have had a lot of good success so far with the uh, orange and green pumpkin candy color uh, dirty Jigs, Luke Claus and Finesse Jig, and this is a perch colored TRD on the back. It's a very good presentation as well. I like this one if I'm fishing a little bit more off colored water on the Wisconsin River behind me. This has been a killer one for me. And over in the Sturgeon Bay area and on a lot of gin clear bodies of water, the PB and J color has been working really well. But this is a technique, guys, that 
is being kept very much on the down low. You need to give it a try. You need to go out there, get yourself some really small jigs. These are both very finesse style jigs. Uh, just, you know, a small compact presentation. Cause remember the TRD, finesse TRD is only, I think it's only two and a half inches long. So, you know, this whole presentation is a very small presentation catch a lot of fish on it i also know guys are catching it down on lake lanier catching spots down there as well but i do think you want to check it out it's pretty much just a micro version of what guys are doing down in florida with a full-size stick worm on a big punch rig or a big jig it's just a smaller one and it gets a lot more bites than that rig does and you still catch a lot of really big fish so check that out <clears throat> you heard it here first guys if you haven't heard about it already uh, you need to give it a try on your local lakes thanks for watching stay tuned for another video coming out tomorrow and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel and hit that like button thanks for watching